Hello there, thanks for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard, and this is a poster from 1964 that's just a knock em dead R&B poster as far as I'm concerned. It's almost like a Motortown review poster, but not quite, because just two acts are from Motown. But look at the colors on this thing. This is just gorgeous. I just absolutely am so fond on this, fond of this. From Richmond, Virginia, the Mosque Auditorium. And uh, take, a, take a look, I'll give you a close-up scan here. This poster from top to bottom, beautiful, clean condition, never hung in the sunshine or anything like that. Just uh, forgive the reflection of the lights, but that's sort of the shiny surface of the poster. And boy, what you basically have here sort of is the, um, you know, the Stevie Wonder and Temptations rookie poster in a way. Now Stevie did appear on a 63 Motortown Review poster, concert poster that collectors know about from the year before. But I just love the fact that, you know, Stevie and the Temps, they are two of Motown's, what, five greatest, biggest selling and most popular and respected artists ever. And here they are both showing their rookie singles. You know, Fingertips Part 2 was Stevie's first hit and it was number one for three weeks. And The Temptations, The Way You Do The Things You Do, I'm sure you saw that when I came in before, that was their first hit record. It only went number 11 pop, but that's okay. The following January, they released My Girl, and that was their first number one record. So just, um, you know, to have those two Motortown artists, Motortown, <laughs> Motown artists on the same concert poster, I mean, not to slag off Chuck Jackson. He's right up there, and he's prominent, and he's co-headlining with Stevie Wonder, but, um, you know, that was, any day now was about his only significant hit, really, it can be said. I think Elvis Presley covered that. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's, um, it's basically a Stevie and Temps poster. But then another thing I like about this is the support acts, such as, dare I say, Chuck, but also, you know, I have really neat hit singles on here. Betty Everett with the Shoop Shoop song, you know, Does He Love You? How Can You Tell? It's In His Kiss. And um, Inez Fox with Mockingbird, you know, that was a, a great uh, call and response record that even Carly Simon and James Taylor did years later. So um, it's just, uh, but the autumn colors are what makes this unique, right? Usually on these, these um, uh, this was done by Posters Inc., by the way, in Philadelphia, not by Globe. Um, but on these things, you saw a lot of the, you know, reds and yellows and purples and stuff. And this is just uh, autumn colors, which really sets it apart and really makes it different. And for my money, adds to the beauty of it, too. Um, interestingly, um, a couple of the lesser acts on here, such as the Soul Sisters down there, they had three charting singles in this year, 64, but then poof, and they vanished. Um, but I find most interesting is the Aubrey Twins there. See them down there, below, above Choker Campbell's name there, the Aubrey Twins. Just like Stevie, who had turned 14 years old three weeks before the show, the Aubrey Twins were 14 years old. And they became really fast, great friends with Stevie Wonder on this tour, and they remained friends, as it turns out, till death did some of them part. Um, one of the Aubrey twins died in 2009, and Stevie came to and even sang at his funeral. So, in fact, here's a better picture. You can't even sort of tell if they're boys or girls here, but here's a good picture of the Aubrey twins from an advertisement, a trade advertisement, for one of their singles. And so they, uh, they've stayed in touch with Stevie for life, and they're great friends, and here they are on a poster when everybody's 14 years old. I think that's pretty darn cool. So just a great, great, beautiful, classic-looking R&B concert poster from the summer of, uh, almost the summer of 64, spring as it turns out. And this exact poster, by the way, has hung in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum in Cleveland, Ohio, in one of their soul music exhibits. So I thought I'd combo the Temptations um, rookie poster here with their first hit single listed on there with a classic style from a few years later, 1966. And here we have from the Continental Club, Dance and Show. And this time the Temps own the poster because they're a big hit-making machine by this point in 1966. Um, of course, the Continental Club being across the bay from San Francisco in Oakland. Um, interestingly, the, uh, the billboard, I've used the billboard chart books uh, pretty much for all of my life. They're compiled by Joel Whitburn, and there's uh, a lot of useful sources on the internet, but nothing really, uh, nothing matches on the internet what these uh, billboard chart books um, put forth, the information, the way they compile billboards charts, probably because it's also copyrighted. But anyway, these billboard chart books say that the Temptations are recognized as America's all-time favorite R&B group. 
I think there was a, a four-hour, two-part miniseries on NBC about their life story a number of years ago, which I really enjoyed. They're a fascinating group. And uh, they, uh, uh, this is, this is um, interesting. It has the same photo here that the 1964 poster has. And that's very fortuitous. I should point that out again because it's really great um, that... Where's the Temptations? There they are. It's really great they use that relatively new photo because David Ruffin had joined the group in 64 and this photo has him. And uh, that's along with Eddie Kendricks, was their, their two biggest lead singers. And so that's the, the new photo and they just carried it forward. This is the same photo in bigger, uh, bigger scope going. Basically the entire 8x10 probably pulled it from the publicity still. So the photo has, of course, both Ruffin and Kendricks and Otis Williams and so forth were in 66, just very much a part of the group. So this is really neat. This is the summer of 1966. The Temps in the Bay Area with a very Bay Area looking cardboard 14x22, you know, boxing style concert poster. And uh, right prime, great timing for the Temps career. They had, um, up to this point, they had had nine top 40 pop hits. Nine. And going forward, their next five, I should say, of their next six singles, five of them would go top ten pop. And so they were truly an amazing hit-making uh, machine. So, so this video is split between Stevie Wonder and the Temps and all the neat support acts like Betty Everett and the Aubrey Twins and stuff like that. So uh, some real nice cardboard on the soul tip from the mid-60s here at PosterCentral.com. So thanks for coming by. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.